EOC review term number 17, the Federalist Papers. After the founding fathers wrote the new constitution, they had to send the new document out to each of the 13 states to see if the states wanted to ratify the new document and make it the official law of the land. Obviously, there were some states and individuals that supported the new constitution and some that were opposed. Those who supported the new constitution referred to themselves as federalists. They referred to those who opposed the new constitution as anti-federalists. Very clever. The federalists began to publish a series of essays and pamphlets in local newspapers all over the country, because at that time, that was the easiest way to communicate Uh, their message to um, large audiences. And so they would write these essays um, and uh, this collection of essays, which was mostly written by Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, and another guy named John Jay. Um, These essays, when compiled, became known as the Federalist Papers. And in these papers, Hamilton and Madison and Jay argued for things like why it was necessary to have a little bit stronger of a national government. Um, They argued for the separation of powers that existed in the Constitution as a means of making sure that not any one branch or any one individual would become too powerful. Um, And so, um, yeah, Federalist Papers.